Hello. Welcome to another episode of Android Weekly. This is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Bringing you the latest news, fun facts, and crazy stuff going on out there. Alright guys, sorry I haven't been, uh, was out of town last week, so let's catch up on some news, shall we? First article talks about how Samsung spent more on marketing than even Apple this past year. It might be one of the reasons why uh, Samsung is pretty much beating Apple in every region. Uh, that is right, Samsung spent $401 million in marketing in 2012, while Apple spent $303 uh, million. Now, the reason why this is so important is I am a marketing major, graduated with my degree and everything, and I feel that companies are idiotic for not doing marketing. It is what drives uh, awareness and what uh, brings consumers to buy products. So it's very foolish when the company doesn't go a lot more in on marketing, and it's why some companies succeed and why some companies don't. If you don't have the resources to fund marketing, get them. Period. That's about it. Marketing always pays off, as long as it's done right. If it's not done right, then yeah, just might as well waste your money. Alright, uh, the second article talks about uh, another article from a little week back, but uh, very important nonetheless. Uh, the Galaxy S4 scores twice as much in benchmark tests as compared to the iPhone 5. It actually almost uh, scores about 500 over the HTC One as well. See, what a lot of people are confused about is that um, HTC One and the uh, Galaxy S4 use the same processor chip. However, they use the same processor brand and a similar type, but not the exact same. Uh, the uh, HTC One uses a 1.7 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon, while uh, the S4 uses a 1.9 gigahertz. Um, this extra speed definitely shows on live testing, and also um, just because Sense is still a bit slower compared to TouchWiz. Um, but it definitely shows, and it shows how much further um, this is compared to the old uh, S3, which um, scored still higher than the iPhone 5 once it ran on Jelly Bean, but nowhere near this kind of feat where it scores more than double. Um, so it's very impressive um, and definitely shows that we are going a bit above uh, what we used to um, in terms of phones. So the S4 is the king on benchmark scores. Uh, and oh, by the way, BlackBerry is about 1480 uh, compared to the 3163. So an iPhone was 1596. Um, so yeah, 3163 is the uh, thing to beat and no one else can beat uh, the S4 in terms of that. Now, in uh, other news related to Samsung, uh, Samsung has, uh, and this is one thing I like about Samsung, is they're really proving to be a, a cut above the rest. Uh, they are already committing uh, to Android 5.0 for the S4, the S3, and the Note 2, um, alongside tablets like the Note 8-inch and the uh, Note 10.1. Now, this is really uh, impressive, just simply because, you know, Google isn't even, even officially announced um, Android 5.0 Keyline Pi, not officially anyway, uh, but you know, we do know it's going to be released on uh, May 15th, and for Samsung to already step up and say that they are supporting this, this is one of the reasons why it's just cut above manufacturers like HTC and LG, because not only do they have the current 4.2.2 on their phones already, and they're not waiting around and taking their sweet time, but you're already committing to have 5.0. Um, so that is just really impressive and I'm really happy to see that, that um, Samsung is really stepping up on always getting the updates right away. Um, now for those people that still are like, oh, well, you know, it still doesn't compare to iOS or anything like that. So what? Android phones can already do much more than iOS can anyway. iOS could update three times over and the S4, uh, three years from now, will still do features that iOS can't. So, it's not really that bad because if you put more features in the products now, then it's not bad. But the fact that Samsung's doing both really speaks uh, very well for the company. Alright, smartwatches. Who's making them? Uh, well, so, rumors have it that Apple's working on one, as well as Google's working on one. Uh, Samsung is kind of taking it out of the rumor mill, and the VP has confirmed that the company is working on one. 
So I think that's really great. Um, I, for one, have loved the idea for a smartwatch for a while. Um, I would have kept the Sony smartwatch had it been uh, Bluetooth 4.0. The only reason I got rid of it was because it was Bluetooth 3.0 and drains your battery way too much compared to 4.0 wood. Uh, I'm currently waiting on my Pebble smartwatch, uh, Pebble, just saying. Um, so we will see when that comes out, but um, I will definitely get the Samsung smartwatch. I'm super excited about that. If Google comes out with one, of course I'm going to get that one too, but I'm very excited about uh, smartwatches entering the market. Uh, more news on Samsung. It's just to be Samsung and Apple this week. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini has been announced. Um, it is a quad-core processor Exynos um, device uh, with a smaller screen. It's a 4.3-inch uh, Super AMOLED QHD, uh, meaning that it um, well, it's not quite no, it's not it's it's not it's under 720p, so it's similar to like the Retina display on the iPhone, um, but uh, it will be a dual SIM card. It will have Android 4.2.2 built in on it already. Again, just uh, keeping with the current OS out. And uh, it's it seems to be a really good uh, part for it being a S4 Mini. And the the really current the really interesting thing is, you know, will it just be another uh, mostly European based phone, or will it come to the U.S. and different parts of the world? Um, that remains to be seen. Um, it said that the release date uh, should be around uh, June or July, which, you know, we'll put it a little bit... I don't know if it's still going to be relevant more so at that point, but we'll see. Um, maybe they'll change the specs uh, to match uh, the current times, then. Who knows? Um, and uh, for the last article of the day, an interesting topic. Um, I, a uh, company, uh, just a study, an iPhone is actually more vulnerable than Android, Blackberry, and Windows phones combined. Yeah, a new study shows that, um, Apple, um, even though they're consistently, uh, releasing security fixes, um, and they have continued to grow that over year over year, it's not as secure as any of the other operating systems. Which is funny because, you know, people always hear about, oh, well, what about the malware on uh, Android and everything like that. But in terms of security flaws, Apple is around 86, whereas Android, uh, the next one closest to it, is at 6. So, yeah. Uh, Apple has a lot of work to do before they can become as secure as Android. Um, so, yeah, uh, they're just vulnerabilities uh, that you don't want on your phone and businesses definitely wouldn't want. So yeah guys, um, that is all the latest news uh, for the week. Uh, what news have you found out that I didn't cover? Let me know. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, The Android.